Hey, it's Evan, and I want to start this video by asking you this question. When was the last time you read a book from start to finish and actually enjoyed it? And no, mandatory books for school do not count. Reading a book. To some people, this probably sounds extremely boring, time consuming, and overall, just a waste of time. We hear it all the time from ultra successful people. Reading a book a day will make you superhuman. This is just plain unrealistic for the average person. We always say we don't have enough time to read, but just think of it, 15 minutes of reading versus 15 minutes of social media scrolling, one will add so much more value to your life, the other is just a time filler. I wanna preface this video by saying that I'm really into self-improvement books, so of course, this is why I have such a strong opinion on reading to improve oneself. So to kick off the video, why do I read? Well, there are actually a few reasons for this. Let's start with the fact that reading helps expand your perspective. The problem with a lot of media that we consume is it's curated to what we want to hear and not what we sometimes need to hear. I'll give you an example from my life. I wanted to start making more videos on this channel and the book Deep Work by Cal Newport taught me a few tricks on how to do just that, deep work. The skills I learned from that book helped me to become a more efficient person when doing my work. The point I'm trying to drive here is that without cracking open a few books to teach you these tricks, you might never discover how much potential you truly have. There are obviously a whole slew of reasons as to why reading is important, but I don't want to drag this video on, so instead, I'll link an article down below. But if any of these reasons to start reading sounds compelling to you, maybe it's time to open up a book. What's the worst that could happen? Actually, I can tell you what the worst thing that could happen is. You don't like the book and you try another one. It's quite simple really. Don't overthink it. All right, so now that I've shown you the importance of reading and how it can benefit your everyday life, how do you build this habit? With any new positive habit, it starts the same way. You have to find a way to make it work with your lifestyle. Running in guns blazing saying, I'm gonna read one book every day starting tomorrow is setting yourself up for failure. If you're someone who has never built the habit of reading, I suggest starting small. Start with a goal like, I'm gonna read every day for 10 minutes. Sounds easy enough, right? If you just start small, then even on those days where you really just don't even wanna bother reading, 10 minutes is really not that long. But then on days when you have extra motivation, you can bump that up to 15, 20, even 30 minutes if you're feeling that good. In the end, you've still achieved your base goal of 10 minutes. You're trying to build consistency, which is the biggest aspect of any healthy long-term goal. This is how I started building the habit of reading. I would start off nights and slow and read 10 pages before bed each night. But of course, there were some nights I was too tired to read. This is where adjustments are handy. For me, these adjustments were moving my reading times to the morning slash afternoon so I wouldn't fall asleep. Another adjustment I made was downloading my books digitally onto my iPad, since it made reading more accessible for me. Of course, this is only one way to build this habit out of hundreds of ways you can do it, but this just happened to be the one that worked for me. Also, a bonus tip for building healthy habits is to download an app like Habitica so you can track your goals, or you can simply write it down on a calendar or journal so you can keep track of the days you read. Seeing the streak build was a huge motivator for me, and I haven't taken a day off in a long time as reading is now just an everyday habit for me. So to wrap up, I hope this video has given you the inspiration or the tools you need to start building a good habit such as reading. It's a mind-opening experience to read a book that teaches you so much about yourself and the world, and the feeling of learning things you care about is extremely liberating. I actually feel kind of smart for once after reading so many books. Also, if you have any good book suggestions, leave a comment down below. I'm always looking to build my library and learn new things. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace. Uh.